Hey what's up guys Tanmay of Simple Snippets and I'm back with another video tutorial on web services. So in this video tutorial we are going to be looking into a simple web application which has a web service and we will access that web service in a different windows form application in .NET. Now the programming language that we are going to use is C Sharp and the IDE that is Visual Studio 2010. So I know there are newer versions of this IDE but I'm going to be using this because I have been using this for a long time. So let me just show you what exactly we are going to do. So this is a calculator kind of example that we are going to program and this is the windows form application in .NET and the programming language that we are using is C sharp. So what it does is it takes two numbers and it will perform addition and it will show you in a message box. It will show subtraction result, multiplication and division. Now all these results or these functions are being called from a web service. So it is not, not a part of this form application but we are accessing the web service from another application that is web application. So let's go ahead and do this functionality. So the first thing you need to do is you have to go to file say new project go to the visual c sharp tab in the web tab you have to select asp.net empty web application so after selecting asp.net empty web application just select ok so an empty web application is being created for you the next thing you need to do is right click on the web application so this is your project name go to add select new item and in this list scroll down and you'll see a web service item so you have to add this just select this and click add. So now you just created a web service. So by default there is one function already present in, over here. But we need four different functions which are going to be as follows. That is add, subtract, multiply and divide. So let's go ahead and create that. So I'll just copy this structure and paste it. And then we'll change the name. So the first method is going to be add. And it will return an integer value. So I'll say public int add. It will take two arguments. So I'll say int x comma int y and it will return the addition of these two variables so i'll say return x plus y okay so this was the add method accordingly we have to create the rest of the three methods so i'll copy and paste this three more times and i'll just change the names so first one was the add second one i'll say subtract and just have to change the sign i'll change the name to multiply again just change the sign and lastly divide and again change the sign. Okay, so the methods in the web service are ready. So you must be thinking what exactly is a web service. So a web service in general is like a universal class which has certain methods and you can access those methods by including that web service as a reference in your project. So you just need to create one web service and you can create multiple applications to use those same methods. So for example, you have 10 different applications where you need add, add, subtract, divide and other methods. So you just create one web service and you can access that web service by including references in, into all those 10 different different applications. So that was just some basic theory about web services. So now we have the four different methods ready. So now the next thing we need to do is we have to run this web service and see if it is running properly. So just hit on run. So there you go. You can see the link in the address that is web service.asmx. So it is running and these are the different methods inside our web service. So this means that the web service is working properly. So just minimize it. And now we have to create another windows form application inside which we are going to call the methods of this web service. So in order to do that, right click on your solution that is web application and say add new project. So we are adding an entirely new project inside this same project. So go in the visual C sharp section in the windows section, select windows form application, hit OK. So you can see there is one more application added inside your main project. So now here we need two text boxes and four buttons. So you can just drag and drop them. So I'll just increase the font of the text box so that it looks good. And also for the labels and buttons. So you can design your form as per your necessity or as per your wish. Just copy this and paste it again so that I don't have to design it again. Also for the button, we need four buttons. First one is going to be add. I'll change the font. And copy and paste it four times. So we have four buttons now. So I'll just change the text. This would be subtract. And multiply and lastly divide
okay so what we are going to do is we are going to input two numbers in these text boxes and when we click on any of these buttons that corresponding function is going to be called from the web service and we'll see a result in a message box so i just give you a demonstration so let's go ahead with the coding part just double click on any of the button to fire its click event and you can see that its click event is already auto generated for you so this one is for add so now what you have to do is we have to add reference first so right click on your windows form application go to add service reference don't select the add reference select the add service reference option so here you will get a screen now you just have to click discover and it will automatically show you the web service one that you created because it is in the same directory so just select ok and it will add the corresponding reference in your windows form, form application okay so all the references are being added in your windows form application now just one thing you have to do is you have to go at the top and you have to add the namespace as well so you have to say using windows form, form application 1 dot the service reference 1 that you just added so this is the name service reference 1 which you just added so that you have to include as a namespace in your project so now you are good to go so now the next thing you need to do is you have to create a web service soap client object so just below your partial class we'll create a global variable so type in web service one soap client so if you just go ahead and type it you can see in the intellisense it's showing three options just select the web service one soap client one and create an object but don't actually initialize it just declare it in your form design just double click on the form so inside the form load function you can actually initialize that object that you just declared it over here so you can see object is equal to new web service one soap client so now you can use this object to call its methods that is add multiply divide subtract and so on so just at the double click of add we can take the two values from the text boxes and put it into an integer variable so we can say int a is equal to textbox one dot text and we'll have to convert this to integer so we can say convert dot 2 in 32 and inside the brackets pass the text box one dot text similarly for the next number we can say int b is equal to text box 2 dot text and the total that is int answer can be given by object dot add and inside this add remember that we have to pass two values so pass two integer variables so i'll say a comma b and this will return the addition and it will be stored in the answer variable so now we just need to show a message box and call its show function and inside that you just need to pass addition is and just concatenate the answer now before running this windows form application one you need to set it as startup project so right click on windows form application 1 and select set as startup project otherwise this web application 3 will run so just right click on windows form application 1 and select this option set as startup project and now click on run so there you go with your windows form application just let's see if the add function works and then later on we can put the functionality for these remaining three buttons so i'll say 2 and 3 and it should give me a result of 5 so when i click on add i get the right answer that is addition is 5 so this means that the service as well as the form application is working properly so now i just have to perform the same coding for all other button click events so for subtract i just need to copy and paste this and change the function name to subtract and the text as subtraction similarly for multiplication and division as well Okay, so I just copied and pasted the code for the addition into all other button click events and changed the function name. So let's see if the form works properly. Just run this again. So I'm going to say first number is 4 and the second number is 2. I'll say add. So I get the result of addition is 6. I'll say subtract. I should get 2. So I got 2. I'll say multiply. So I should get 8. And for division, I should get 4 divided by 2. That is 2. Okay, so these are all the correct answers which means that our web service as well as the form application is working perfectly right. So this was a basic example of web service and how to access that web service from another windows form application. So just a quick recap, the first thing we did is we added a web application that is ASP.NET empty website 
and inside that we right click on that and we said add new item and we added a web service so this web service was already added for us and inside that web service we had one function which was predefined that is the hello world function and we just copied it and pasted it four times and changed its signature so we made four different functions which are going to perform the arithmetic operations such as add subtract multiply and divide so they are going to be returning some integer value so this was the web service that we created then we actually ran the web service for once to see if it is working properly or not after that we created a windows form application inside the same project so we said right click we said add new project and we created windows form application then inside the windows form application we created the basic gui wherein we accepted two numbers in text boxes and performed addition subtraction multiplication and division by calling the web services methods so in the load event we first initialize the object of web service one soap client and in order to do that we first had to add the reference of the web service so to do that we right clicked on the web form we said add service reference then clicked on discover and it automatically discovered the web service one because it is in the same folder so we added that and then we had to include this namespace that is windows form application one dot service reference one so this is the service reference one that was added and we had to include it as a namespace after which we could use this class web service one soap client and create its object now this is a global level object so that is why we could access it in every of every click event and we initialize that object in the form load event once and we used it in all these click events by simply calling its functions according to the click so this was a quick tutorial on how to create web service and access web service methods in windows form application so that's it for this video guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want more such tutorials do let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel peace